Hello guys, my name is Rigma Julian T and today I will read the story about Strong Like Mom by Witaru Emi and illustrated by Maria Arum, published by Asia Foundation. Let's read. Come on, Naning, keep pulling, shouted Naning's friends. It was Naning's turn to pull the coconut leaf, but no matter how hard Nani pulled, the leaf didn't move. I give up. I can't go on. I want to go home, said Nani. Nani want to be strong like mom. Mom could leave, pull, or even push heavy object with ease. Mom said drinking and herbal drink could make you stronger. Nani grabbed the bottle of herbal drink. However, she shouldn't even open the cap. Here, let me help, said mom. With a single twist, the bottle opened. Mom really was strong. Naning, you are free tomorrow, right? Come fishing with me, suggested mom. Naning couldn't wait. She had already heard of mom's greatness at sea. Now, Naning could see it for himself. Before dawn, Nanning and Mom were already at the boat. I broke put and a change of clothes for you. I also brought a small net. You can learn how to fish using a big net ladder, Mom said. Nanning wore her boots. She felt just like Mom. How great! Nanning and Mom were ready to set sail. Let me try to turn on the engine, Mom, Nanning said. She had once seen Mom do it. Ugh, turns out that cracking the engine wasn't easy. Let's crank it together, said Mom. One, two, and three. They counted. Vroom, the engine roared to life and the boat headed out toward the sea. Please help me get rid of the water that enters the boat ladder, okay? Said mom. Getting rid of the water was hard. The bucket was too big. So, Nanning used a deeper instead. Not to mention, a bucket full of water was heavy. On top of that, Nanning's hair kept falling across her eyes. Nanning's eyes were stinging from sweat. If I was mom, what would I do? She thought. Oh yeah, I should wear a hat cover just like mom. Nanning decided. Now, neither hair nor sweat would bother her. Here's the place, said mom while pointing toward the flying birds. Nanning understood what mom mean. Bird could be a sign that there were lots of bees in the area. Mom threw her net and so did Nani. The sun was blinding Nani. She couldn't see well. She looked at mom again. If I was mom, what would I do? Nani thought. Nani needed to wear a hat just like mom. A con hat would do. Now she was no longer blinded by the sun. Nanning threw her net carefully. Now, Nanning and Mom had to wait. The sun's rays made Nanning thirsty. Let's drink some water, Mom suggested. After drinking some water, Nanning felt refreshed. Come on, it's time to pull the net, said Mom. Nanning pulled her net. Yikes, it's so heavy, she exclaimed. This is heavier than the bucket. With all her strength, Nanning pulled the net again. Slowly, the net began to rise. There were several fish on the net. Hooray! Let's try throwing our nets near the coral, said mom. While steering the boat, if we are lucky, we can catch a lobster. Mom threw her net again. This time mom struck to leave her net. Looks like we got a lot of fish. The net is really heavy, said mom. Come help me lift it up, urged mom. 
Why did mom need, need Nani helps? Was not mom usually strong? Surprise! Nani help mom. One, two, three, pull. They said in unison. As the boat neared the docks, Nani was still thinking. Why did mom ask for her help? Let's eat lunch, Nani. Mom called out. Yum, tea will rice and salt fish tells very good. After lunch was finished, Nani felt more energetic. Wow, we cook way more fish than usual, mom noticed. Mom separated the fish from the net. Nani placed the fish in the box. Ah, uh, this is so heavy, mom groom as they lift the box of fish. Again, mom need Nani helps. Mom and Nani lift the box together. One, two, three, lift, they said. The box was still heavy even though they were all both lifting it. Mom and Nani had to take breaks every now and then. We are there, exclaimed Nani panting. Mom struck Nani's head and said, Thank you, Nani. You were really strong today. You made my job easier. Nani smiled. Turns out she could be as strong as mom. 2022 The Asia Foundation This book was created through a book creation workshop in Indonesia involving mostly female writers, illustrators, editors, and art directors to produce stories featuring mighty girls and women. The workshop was a collaboration between Litara Foundation and the Asia Foundation and supported by ST Lauder Company's Caritable Foundation. The workshop and professional development, along with the editing and design of this book, was conducted by Litara Foundation. Litara Foundation is a not-for-profit organization that develops children's literacy through children's literature. Okay, that's all from what I have read. The story from Witaru Emi and the motion is strong like mom. Thank you for enjoying my story. Nice to see you.